Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Colette Stinger. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. An area business is helping victims of the Swan Valley condo fire. It displaced dozens of people. Now, Bain's Apple Valley in Freeland is opening as a pop-up this week, calling it Donuts for Donations. There will be trivia Tuesday night from 7 to 9, with the bar opening an hour before. Wednesday, they're open from 4 until 9. Junior golfers can learn from the pros at the Great Lakes Bay Invitational by participating in a clinic on the Curry Golf Course today. The clinic has two hands-on sessions with LPGA professionals. The clinics are free, but registration is required. Well, check this out. The Bissell Pet Foundation is hosting its longest ever Empty the Shelters Summer National Event. That event will reduce the fee of adoption to a maximum cost of $50. Today through July 31st, you can head to various shelters around Michigan to pick up your new furry friend at a low price. To find a shelter participating near you, just head to the hot link section of our website, WNEM. Com. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Colette. We are tracking some rain chances this Monday. Certainly need the rain, but we do have some storm chances associated with that as well. Some of these storms could reach that strong to severe level, so we'll want to keep an eye on that, but it still looks like the best ingredients today are going to be farther south in the lower peninsula. Now your first one five sky tracker shows a cold front off to the west. It's that cold front that moves through and sparks some of those ingredients later on into the evening, but even ahead of this, we could still see just some plain rain showers later on this morning closer to midday on this Monday. But there we are closer to your dinner hour and especially thereafter the cold front comes in. This is around eight o'clock or so and that's where we start to see the strongest activity picking up along that front. Still some of the strongest and the best chances are going to be closer to the Flint area, at least for the TV5 viewing area. Some of that activity could stray up towards the Tri-Cities. Most of us just seeing some rain and some heavier rain, some thunderstorms, but the strongest chance of severe again is going to be a little bit farther south in our viewing area. Overnight the cold front clears and that also dries us out. So by Tuesday morning for your morning commute, then actually looking pretty dry. Rainfall totals only up to around a quarter of an inch just out of the plain rain. But where we do have our thunderstorms, some totals could exceed that half of an inch mark. Certainly that is going to be a good thing, but still in general, this rainfall won't be enough to pull us out of our abnormally dry or even drought conditions that we have in parts of mid-Michigan. For today, where wind will speed up out of the southwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusting to 30. That does bring the heat in. We're into the middle to upper 80s across most of the TV5 viewing area today are humidity higher too. But then for the rest of the work week, temperatures actually leveling back off on e just either side of that 80 degree mark and still largely looking dry past just a few more pop up showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday afternoon. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.